it seems i'm speaking about the kenyan youth too much but what they are doing is making me happy it's making me proud i just wish we tried this so let me tell you what happened a politician wanted to become the mp of that constituency so he went about making his empty promises to the people of that constituency he told them that oh if you vote for me i'll construct your road i'll do this you know those are empty empty promises that they make so now <laughs> they voted for him and he won and when he won he forgot about his people the people in the constituency were angry because the man deceived them he did not fulfill his promise but they kept it to themselves they did not speak now guess what <laughs> over the weekend the politician that failed to fulfill his promises went to visit the town the, yes he went to visit his people so when the youth heard that he was coming they went and stand on the road they were waiting for him yes the road that he did not construct that was muddy they went and stood there waiting for him immediately they saw the car they stopped the car they were not even afraid of the security that followed the man and <laughs> guess what they brought the man out of the car and told him to walk on the road yes and it rained the road was muddy they told him to walk like you should not use the car that he should walk and the man walked his leg all was <laughs> was muddy the, the the rain water was on his trousers and they said yes this is what we go through every day because you fail to fulfill your promise so they made him walk from the, from from the road to his house he was wet he was muddy his shoes were dirty and they told him that if he does not construct the road and he comes again they will let him walk again this is it holding your leaders accountable Charlie at this rate I might marry a, a Kenyan woman because she will defend me